Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is my fresh start. Join me today as I give you some clothing decluttering and closet de decluttering motivation. This is actually video part two to the part one that was previously posted, I believe on Friday. Um, this video was a later post, I do apologize, but thankfully we're here today. Listen, you guys, yes, you're right, you see that. You guessed it, that is an extremely wrinkled shirt. Am I folding it in a pile, getting it ready to be hung in a closet with a hanger? <gasps> yes, yes I am, because it was stupid late this evening that I was actually working on these clothes. And at this point, I wanted to get it all sorted, I wanted to get it all filtered through, I just wanted to keep, I just wanted to declutter, and at the end of the night, I just wanted to get it hung up. Here you will see a couple of plastic bags along with a baby sock that I will be putting in this empty clothes hamper. You guys, I don't know what the issue is. I don't understand how it happens, but let me tell you something. You can ask my sister-in-law, if you know her, that I have went through monstrous sock piles. I have went through bags of socks, and I'm talking about our whole entire family. Shameful, shameful, would you what would you call it confession here I guess you could say and maybe it's not shameful maybe it's nostalgic you can label it what you'd like tell me moms am I the only one out there that keeps all the baby socks my kids are older and they have been out of baby socks for quite a while but part of me just wants to keep it all maybe it's for memories maybe it's for reminiscing maybe it's just because this mama heart loves them so very very much Here you will see me holding up a bag of hangers. They all are the black velvet or black velour. I like for the closet to be somewhat cohesive. So this bag was full and I actually intended to donate actually the entire bag of hangers. I believe in my previous um, part one video to this video, I had mentioned something about the 33 uh, wardrobe item capsule wardrobe or what have you. And I actually said that I changed my mind. I wasn't able to do that for all four seasons. Since we do, our family does keep all four seasons of clothing out at one time, wherever we store our clothes, it just, we keep it all together. Um, we don't put certain seasons away and bring other seasons back um, when it's time. We just like to keep it all where it belongs. So long story short, my intentions was to have a more minimal wardrobe or more minimal-ish wardrobe, if you please. And I went from 33 overall items of clothing for all four seasons and pared it down to what I thought um, was going to be 35 hangers of clothing per fall and winter and season, or I'm sorry, spring and summer. So basically you'll see at the end of this video, um, if you stick around that it didn't exactly go down as I had planned. So if you have a cluttered closet or a cluttered dresser, what in the world are you waiting for? Do you have piles of laundry sitting around? Is your laundry backed up? What are you doing? Push pause, take your phone, take your tablet, pop this up on your TV, get that laundry in front of you, go to your room, open a drawer, open that closet door, and let's get to work.
The night that I finished this project, this part two of part one, going through all of my personal clothing and whatnot, literally, you guys, it was quite exhausting only because I had so many things. Um, and plus, I'm not one to exactly rush through it, even though due to the uh, smoke and mirrors of YouTube or the internet or editing, you can see that I'm actually not going um, quite as slow than I actually was in real life. But let me tell you something. It might have been exhausting, but it was completely rewarding. And the less you have, the less time you have to invest in going through something like this. The more you have, the more time you definitely have to invest by going through it. But in the end, it is completely worth it. my favorite thing about doing this entire project was honestly the fact that well one like I got it done and it wasn't sitting around anymore and nagging at me in my mind or pulling on my emotions you know because I wasn't getting it done um, I think the biggest reward for this whole entire project and knocking it out was honestly the comfort and the peace of mind knowing that everything in my closet at the end of this night fit me everything in the end of at, at the end of this project in my closet was ready to just be pulled out and worn yes i know earlier you saw the wrinkled shirt i'm sorry you guys is this not the 21st century i can pop it in the dryer and literally it will be wrinkle free in a matter of i don't know less than minutes you could say regardless it was just nice to know that all of my clothing items were in my closet i could open the door for whatever season knowing that I can yank out a top, yank out a bottom, put it together. I didn't have to search. It wasn't dirty. It wasn't laying around in a pile that I had to um, go through, you know, trying to find a mate or a match to the other half of my, you know, part of my wardrobe for the day. No, it was all there, ready to go. I could wear it. I had everything I needed and I knew exactly where everything was. So right now I'm just going through after I had totally forgot because at this point I was tired beyond my brain <laughs> that I had already had existing clothing items currently hung up in the closet already. They were not organized or categorized by season. Um, they were kind of sort of out of order. Regardless, I ended up yanking out um, everything looking at it. Did I want to keep it? Did I want to get rid of it? Did it fit? Did it not fit? What side of the closet did it need to be on? I didn't have to necessarily overcomplicate it. It was just a matter of there were existing items already pre-hanging up in my closet and they were just a few other extra things other than the piles on my bed that I needed to go through and sort to finish the job. Other than hang up exercise clothing, I like to use these cubbies at the top shelf above the rod, which I have other clothing hanging. And right now you'll see me taking a swimsuit and I actually take out my work clothes and my swimsuit and I put them all together folded up in this black bin on the shelf above my hanging rod. And to me it works out a lot better because it's not clothing that I use 24 seven. It's not something that I reach for frequently and they're up there nice and neat and I know where to find them when I need them.
So tell me in the comments below, do you keep all four seasons of your clothing items together in the same spot all year round? Or are you one of those neat and tidy people who like to be meticulous or specific about your items? And maybe it's because you don't have the storage space and you're not afforded the luxury of keeping them all together at one time and you have to store your seasonal clothing out separately. Let me know in the comments below. not gonna lie you guys sometimes there is a huge part of me that's like and probably especially this night that I was working on this project <laughs> sometimes just have the feeling that like oh you know maybe I should swap my husband I use the dresser he uses the closet because there are times where I'm like do I have to hang it up do I really have to hang my clothes like what if you know we take out the closet we convert the closet into something else maybe you know a bigger bathroom or, you know, I could just buy a dresser and put the dresser in the closet and not have to hang up my clothing and just fold it. Does it waste more time to hang your clothes up? Is it more simple to fold them and put them away? I don't know, but I just know it seems like hanging up your clothes might be more of a bigger job than if I owned a dresser. counting out exactly how many pairs of black pants that I own later on in the video I will have found more I think at this point I was up to four maybe five pairs of just plain back black pants and then I happened to realize that two of the black pants that I owned were literally the exact style with the same exact embellishments and I thought who needs five to six pairs of black dress pants well, apparently I thought I did because I don't remember decluttering any of them. the classic black dress every lady needs to own a black dress you can dress it up you can dress it down you can pair it with a blazer you can pair it with a jacket a jean one at that you can pair it with a sweater summer spring winter or fall there's just something about that good old staple of that simple little black dress
just taking some articles of clothing to a pile that I've created throughout this video to try on. It's things that I might not be sure about, things that I might be interested in keeping, but just want to make sure that they actually fit me. Thankfully, that pile did not get too big. Going back through the video and editing, I'm looking at all my black dress pants and I'm reminded of the meme um, or the post that you can see on social media sometimes where it says people think I wear the same pair of pants every single day and then there's a picture of like 15 to 20 black leggings. Well, in my case, it's about five to six pairs of black dress pants. I just wanted to remind everyone that I do have a tiny giveaway, a small, small giveaway, just as a small token of my appreciation and thanks for you guys being here and a part of my channel. Um, over on my community tab, it is for the Scrub Mommy, Scrub Daddy. Um, so if you could head on over to the community tab and like that post and comment, which team are you on? Are you Scrub Daddy or are you Scrub Mommy? And I will be randomly picking a winner this Friday. And I will announce it Monday. How far have you gotten? What projects are you working on while I'm working? What are you doing with me today as you're watching this video? Are you getting stuff done? Are you knocking things out? Tell me about it. I'd love to hear what you are doing.
know that saying or that verse that sorrow may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning yes i would like to say that that is literally where i'm at during this video and this project i was so close though i could taste it you could say um it did take a lot of energy it took a lot of time and again so thankful and grateful that i busted it out and then i got it done and just a reminder to you whatever you're going through whatever mountain you're facing whatever hills you're trying to climb you are not alone the lord is always with you and that remember all things are possible for him who believes and nothing is impossible for god Spring is just around the corner. I believe it's less than two weeks away now or just right at two weeks away, which is super duper exciting. Um, I understand that some of you out there are dealing with, I believe it's SAD, stands for seasonal something, depression. Um, if you know that A, the middle word, um, let me know in the comments below what that is. But when it's winter time and you have lack of vitamin D from the sunshine or seeing the lack of the sunshine, honestly, it can really dampen the mood. It can kind of lower your spirits and it can kind of put you in a little funk. Um, regardless, spring is around the corner. So woohoo! we get some of that sunshine. We get to have some of that vitamin D. Um, I want to know how many of you are spring and summer wardrobe ready or do you have to do a, a spring shopping spree and kind of collect some much needed items that you've either grown out of, that you are needing more of, or that you've just misplaced and find that you don't have your complete spring wardrobe yet? Let me know. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna let you guys in and I'm gonna chit chat for just a minute. Um, commenting on this dress in particular, you guys, there were some items that I had come across when I was going through my closet of things that I liked. Um, but being the age that I am, just kind of felt like, speaking of seasons, different, you know, seasons for different clothing or different clothing for different seasons, is it possible that we can kind of outgrow certain quote unquote seasons, I'll call it, of clothing where something might look like, well, this age of a person would wear this, but this age of a person would not wear that, including this dress that I just held up to myself. It is super cute, don't get me wrong. I just kind of felt like it was out of my age, uh, age group, including the one I'm holding up to myself. And yeah, I ended up putting this in the try on later pile, but watching this clip back, I'm just like, please Lord, like I don't think I'm in that stage of life anymore. <laughs> Speaking of clothing, while we are on the subject, 
I would love to get to know you a little bit better and I would love to hear from you guys and get to know about your style a little bit more. What type of clothing do you lean toward the most? What style of clothes do you prefer? Or are you more on the eclectic side, which I consider myself? Um, and just kind of like, uh, I don't say hodgepodge, but maybe a little bit of everything. Um, I don't like to limit myself to um, only certain style, styles or types of clothing. I actually like um, maybe something, maybe a little bit of things from every genre. Um, I know that I like certain types of clothing. There's some things out there I don't, but I feel like that's everybody. Um, but I am always a vintage girl at heart, that's for sure. Going through my pile of shorts, I was honestly very shocked at how many shorts, capris, or is it Bermuda shorts or golf pants? I don't know. There's like a kind of like a three, four style capri or like a Bermuda short. It's like a longer short than normal shorts are. Um, regardless, and I do not wear short shorts. That's, that's for certain. Um, but kind of when you go through clothes, it is interesting to see how much exactly you have of what, which is kind of like the reason I actually did put everything on my bed in specific categories and piles because I wanted to see in front of my face exactly how many articles or how many items of each category of clothing that I had, how many sweaters that I have, how many hoodies and sweatshirts did I own, how many t-shirts did I actually have, and definitely, like I said, was kind of shocked at how many pairs of shorts that I owned. I honestly wouldn't have guessed that I probably had even half of what I ended up finding. At this point, I think you can really tell and you could see it in my face exactly how tired and worn out that I am. I've got hair popping out on the sides around my ears. My face is just trying to get through what I have to get done. Um, thank God he gave me supernatural energy and strength because let me tell you guys something. I was beat this night. After the first night, I was beat. Um, but this really took a lot out of me with everything else going on in life in between. Again, so thankful, so grateful. Wouldn't take it back or trade it for the world that I was able to accomplish this task and get these things done that was so very much needed off of my list. Um, but yeah, so I apologize for the lack of facial expression or just kind of like the, you know, not so positive, uh, yeah, vibe or I, I hate that word, but look on my face or just, yeah. Um, I wasn't very high energy this video, but just know that I was pushing through and sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do and keep moving forward.
Just a fun fact about me, I asked you guys a little question about getting to know you and what your style is and what you prefer with clothing. Something about me, I know this sounds very, very strange, but for whatever reason, I am weird uh, for myself, not for other people, but for myself. I am totally indifferent when it comes to button-up blouses or tops that have collars with the buttons down the front. I don't know what it is. I love them on other people, but I'm just weird when it comes to wearing them um, and how they look on me. I don't feel like I'm a button-up shirt type of gal, just to be honest. They're cute, but I just don't feel like they're for me. Yes, if you will take a look and notice here underneath the clothing that I'm hanging on this rod, there is a shoe rack on both sides and of course, if you're organizing, or for myself anyway, if you are organizing your clothing based on categories, um, the said shoes underneath the said clothing must obviously match the exact category. little secret a little insight information or inside information I should say from this video would be that once I was done I headed to the laundry area and I was checking out the dryer and washer situation and what was in them and just kind of going to update what was needed to be done in that laundry area I opened the dryer to find yes folks you guessed it um, probably a medium, maybe not quite large, but regardless, a whole other load of clothing that was just mine. So the saga continues. It's happening we're down to one pile that's right folks step on up take a look take a seat I am literally on the last pile of clothing in my closet oh my goodness it's been a long time coming but I am so thankful and grateful that we arrived that we made it I'm so thankful and grateful that you have been here with me I'm literally taking a praise break I have to sit here and literally thank God for everything that he has helped me accomplish this night when I was working on this project, the last few days, the last week, it's, guys, it's an everyday occurrence. You are not alone. You are never alone. God is always with you. I know I said that earlier a little bit ago, but it's really true. The fact that we don't have to go through life alone. We don't have to do things by ourselves. We, it's impossible to do things through man's own strength, through our own human flesh. But praise God, we have a Heavenly Father who is readily available for us, and He is always with us, guiding us, leading us, and directing us, sustaining us, and making our spirit strong. And I got to tell you right now, if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life, then you are totally and completely missing out. Because let me tell you something, there is a lot of hurt and a lot of harm going on in this world, especially as of now, and I just know 
that without Jesus as my living hope, there is no way at all I know I would not be able to make it. So if you don't know him, Jesus, as your personal Lord and Savior, and you don't have any hope in this world or in this life, please feel free to comment below. And I would love for us as a community to pray for one another, to lift one another up. And definitely, if you would like some more information about having a personal relationship with the Lord, then please feel free to reach out because I would love to help you if you need that. Remember, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new.